Hey guys, how's it hanging? My name is Harrison and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a product review of the Rodeo Packing Boxers as well as kind of a haul and I'm going to do a review for you guys. I'm also going to feature the types of packers that I do use throughout this video and show you the differences in size and all that good stuff. This is going to be a very uh, lengthy video but it will be very informative because I find when I watch other packer or underpants reviews they're kind of sketchy all over the place, the lighting's bad and they fail to mention certain things. So I want to do everything in this video, both for people that know trans people, you can kind of, because I've been asked this question, like, did I magically grow a penis, or why is there a bulge in my pants, or what's going on? So I'll show you what's going on, and for other trans men like myself, uh, this video may be of help to you if you want to purchase some boxers or packers, you can kind of see what it looks like. So yeah, let's get this going. I ordered seven pairs of boxers and I have three Packers to show you guys. So the Packers that I use are called Mr. Limpy. They will make an appearance sooner or later. Please do not flag this video as inappropriate. The prosthetics used in this video are for trans men to help alleviate body dysmorphia and to help with passing in public. So I'm going to unwrap this. I will show you each and every pair of underpants that I bought. I will also show you the three Packers that I do own and then I will try them on one by one. So yeah, let's get this going. So exciting. I literally have had this packaging sitting on my chair for two weeks and I have been drawing to open it. I had one pair of rodeo boxers uh, that I've had for almost a year now and my early days I would just shove a sock in there. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't really work anymore. I found better ways, clearly. So great. These are these are my my first and only pair of rodeo boxers until today. They're like regular uh, boxer shorts. Um, what's really cool, they got buttons, so if you got an STP or something like that, you can also unbutton and go to the bathroom, or you can also use it for playing packers or pack and plays they're called. And if you flip them inside out, you see here uh, there's a pouch, and then your packer just kind of sits in here. Back to this first pair. So this pair, I wanted to get a pair similar to that one, but I think I wanted to go a size up. I'm a medium, which is a 33, 35. So it'll be interesting. Oh no, these aren't these aren't boxer briefs. These are like these are brief briefs. Oh my god, I'm so excited. You see this, guys? This is so exciting. Yeah. Oh my god. Like I'm so. You have no idea. You have no idea how excited I am. Like I had I had one pair of packing boxers. One pair. So this is like long overdue. Here I'm gonna flip them inside out again. So this is where the pouch is in the front. In this pair, there is no way to access the packer, so these would not be good for an STP or a pack and play, just regular. But look how cool they look. I can't wait to try them on. All right, so right now at this very moment, I'm feeling a little dysphoric. I will not lie to you. Let's see if one of these guys can help. Oh, okay, much better. You have no idea. <sighs> it honestly just feels like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders and placed on my crotch. <laughs> Let's try it on with the shorts. Let's see this. Alright, yeah, I like it. Thank you, Rodeo, and thank you, Mr. Lumpy, for your amazing collab. This is the extra small, so I'm gonna try the small. I mean, big difference there, but let's see. Oh, hello. I love this. I am loving this. You have no idea how great this feels. Like, looking down, and this sick pair of underpants that just makes it look like what I think I should look like. So the next one, oh, all right. <laughs> so this one, um, so I play competitive sports. I play on a co-ed team, so one of my biggest insecurities is when it comes to the change room or even just playing on the court. So yeah, so these I, I bought, them. they're called uh, Packer Jock. Oh, all right. <laughs> Flip it inside out, as I do with everything. Um, See here, the, the packer just kind of sits in there. 
that really makes me feel awkward. What's cool about this pair is there's like two layers. So this is the outer layer, right? Oh my god, I feel like I'm like dissecting a vagina. This little pocket here is where the tip sits. And then if you do need to go to the bathroom, like it is good for STPs, uh, you just take the hood up and... Hello! <laughs> Alright guys. Alright, so I put the Mr. Lumpy Extra Small in this jock strap and <laughs> I love it. I'm in love with this. I think I'm gonna wear this every day, it's so f comfortable. And not have to readjust myself. Anyway, I'm gonna go try the small Mr. Limpy, uh, the size up, and see if it has the same effect. Alright, so this is the small Mr. Limpy. I like it too, actually. It's still like big enough that it looks natural, but it looks like you're welling out down there. Um, Alright, next one. I love this one. This is a uh, boxer brief, I think. Again, size medium, because my booty got thick. Yes! Oh, he's gonna look so good. Boxer briefs. Love, love, love. Have like a Calvin Klein vibe going on. What's really cool about these is that they're they're like regular underpants. They, they really f make you feel normal. Um, they're not anything weird or like kinky or made of leather with a thousand straps. Welcome to the apocalypse, Mr. Squidward. I hope you like leather. They're just plain old underpants that just happen to have a sealed pocket in the front where you can put your plastic willy. So yeah, inside out, you can see, pouch goes here. These are nice. These are really nice. They're really comfortable. How they make the booty look, guys. Yeah, awesome. Now let's just stick a willy in there. That's what she said. That's my joke. Damn it, Dwight. All right, I'm going to take the usual, the, the, the small, the small Mr. Limpy. Alright, let's try them on. Pants. Alright. Alright. They look good. What else? Not too bad. Side. Try them on with the shorts. This is the extra small, Mr. Limpy. And the shorts. Yeah, so next pair. I feel like Christmas. Yeah, Christmas. This is a great gift to get uh, a trans guy for Christmas or his birthday, or just because you, you know, you want to give him a pat on the back because life can be hard sometimes. So my next purchase is going to be an STP, which means a stand to pee uh, prosthetic. So uh, the pair of shorts that I just pulled out of the bag, they're especially for uh, stand to pee packers. So they're a bit thicker in the front. Obviously, for leaks and stuff, like we all know that happens. They're a bit longer on the legs. You know, it just keeps them more secure. I mean, you don't have to keep yanking your shorts down throughout the day. Alright, so let's flip these inside out. Show you guys what they're all about. <laughs> You're gonna flip them in. Gonna flip them out. Gonna flip right in. And shake it all about. <laughs> I'm not putting that in there. We're all adults here. What's cool about these, they have frontal access, just like I said, I'll hold them up here. So, hello, I'm like normal underpants. So, they have an O-ring, which is what's really cool about them. So you're gonna stick your willy through the hole, and then the balls can just sit in that teeny pouch right here, because it's kind of like a pouch. And then you feed it in through here. And this is the part where you can get your frontal access. All right, so these are the um, STP shorts that I got from Rodeo.com. Um, so now let's insert a packer and see, um, see what they're good for. All right, so taking my small, um, this one's a bit different. This is the O-ring here. Uh, so I'm gonna flip Mr. Willie in here. All right, and then put my balls in the pouch. All right, and then flip this guy inside. One, two, three, flip. 
There we go. All right. Um, and here is the final product, I think. Um, yeah. Next bit. Oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Oh, these are so cute. I love them. Again, boxer briefs. They're the same as the gray ones I purchased. Pouch. All right, now, uh, here are the olive colored ones. Ooh, I really like how they make my butt look. We I'm putting in there. Um, here's a side view. Ugh. All right. So weird. I feel like the million dollar man. That's how it feels to be trans, guys. This is the small. I just took out the extra small. I put the small in, and here's what it looks like. Honestly, I still, I still prefer the small. I still prefer this one, because it looks most real. So, this is the last pair of underpants that I have purchased. Then I will move on to the Packer review, and then we'll put the two together and make some magic. All right, these ones, uh, boxer briefs. I believe they're the same ones as the, the olive color and the gray color that I have purchased already. Alright, I just got plain old black because you can't go wrong. Um, I really love them, honestly. Like, it's thin, it's breathable, and it feels like you're wearing a t-shirt on your ass. And just for the sake of things, I'll show you what it looks like. Got the giant uh, one-eyed snake in there. Uh, this old guy. Look at the projection on that. It's like a skyscraper on my crotch. Um... Yeah, no thanks. So before I continue with this video, uh, give this video a like, comment down below what kind of content you'd like to see from me, and definitely subscribe to stay in the loop. Alright guys, so now let's move on to the Packer portion of this video. So you are about to see some prosthetics of the male, uh, organ. <laughs> Organs. Uh, Basically, plastic dick, plastic penis, rubber penis, silicone penis, anyway, you get the point. As a transgender uh, male, a lot a lot of other trans people will sympathize. Being transgender is very expensive. Um, <laughs> it's not fun, uh, they are necessities. Like these underpants, I mean, you need underpants, and these silicone prosthetics relieve some of the gender dysphoria that we experience as trans men. So. Um, I personally have only had one kind of packer. I don't like to pack very much. I find I pack, well, especially at the beginning, I would have to because I was so feminine. I felt like I had to because it maybe, maybe tricked people's eyes or gave them some sort of illusion. Then after a while, I got sick and tired of it, especially in the summer because it, it was just it was just hot and uncomfortable. Um, you know, packers are silicone. I just didn't like you have. It's just a lot of upkeep, you know, because you, you, gotta, you gotta wash your parts, whether they're silicone or they're attached to your body, you gotta wash your parts, so. <laughs> My first purchase was the Mr. Limpy. Uh, the Mr. Limpy is the cheapest out of all Packers, and I believe it is amazing, or does the trick for me, at least anyway. My packing journey has kind of been, like, high and then low, and I'm kind of back up on the high again, especially with school, playing sports, being in the change room, being around guys, and just feeling comfortable all around because now my body's looking a little more masculine, so I need certain bulk in certain areas. Oh, right. Oh! Oh, for the love of God! It burns! So when I was pre-T, um, I bought my first packer, it was Mr. Lengthy, and I got the medium size, thinking, you know, medium's fine, medium's average, um, you know, it'll, it'll look proportionate to my body. And so I bought it. And let me show you what the medium looks like. Look at how long and big this is. This is almost as big as my arm. It is huge. And not to mention heavy, floppy. How is this the medium? This is large or extra large. I'm just gonna do this for shits. I look like Squidward. <laughs> We're all adults here. What's cool about this packer, I don't know if you'll be able to see, if it's a little bit dusty, that is because I just washed it and I applied a fresh coat of baby powder um, to, you know, help with the chafing and the sticking because they do stick together and they start to smell like silicone. So it is good to wash them with warm water, soap, and just apply some baby powder. I mean, there's the head, like there's all these little veins and all these little details. Uh, 
you know. Yeah, so honestly, for the price of this prosthetic, it does the job and it looks pretty cool. But, as I said, this was way too big. So, I said, you know what, I'll buy another one and I'll get a small. So, this is the packer that I wear on the regular. This is the one I've chosen to go for because this is average. This is what I feel comfortable with. So this is a Mr. Limpy Small. The color shade is vanilla. And honestly, it's, it's the same as the, the large, but in a smaller rendering. Uh, just as much detail and yeah. On rodeo.com, they do offer packer boxers and packer bundles. So because I had the Mr. Limpy Packer in a medium and a small, I ordered the extra small uh, Mr. Limpy Packer because I thought it would look better in the briefs, and I thought it would look better in uh, the jaws. I will show you the extra small. So the two are unpackaged because I have, I own them. This one I just bought. Uh, you can see here that it's kind of powdery inside the bag. Like I said, they use powder, uh, otherwise it sticks. The thing about the extra small though, that I've heard, and now I see it's true, um, oh, it's cute. The balls are, are bigger than the other two. Like, let me show you this. I'm gonna hold these three dicks in my hand. <laughs> I never thought I would say that. Dream come true. Alright, I don't know if you could tell, but the, the balls, here, the balls on the extra small are pretty bulky. And then you look at the other ones, and they're very, like, two-dimensional. They're very thin. Very... not circular, they're more oval. These two are like balls, like tennis balls. This is cute. I really like how the skin kind of... Like, each of them look different. Like, I don't know. Like, you guys tell me. See? Like, this one's so cute. Aw. So, yeah, that is the video for today, guys. I hope you've learned something or retained something from this video. I hope you guys have an awesome week. I will see you guys next week in the next video. Hopefully, school's been crazy. But, I love you. Peace, love, happiness, spread awareness, and bye!